Hello everyone. Welcome to the series of economics in four minutes. This is Dr. Atman Shah. In this video, I'm going to discuss Hortress business cycle theory. Can you subscribe to my YouTube channel to find more videos on economics, econometrics, statistics, SPSS and R Studio. Let's begin with the introduction. Hortre describes the trade cycle as a purely monetary phenomenon. So all changes in the level of economic activity are caused by the changes in the money supply. So he made the classical quantitative theory of money the basis of his theory of the trade cycle. And in his view, changes in flow of money are the sole and sufficient cause of changes in economic activity. So according to him, money supply plays an important role in understanding the trade cycle or business cycle. So according to Hotre, non-monetary factors like wars, earthquakes, strikes, crop failures, may cause partial and temporary depression and not the permanent a depression which involves the general unemployment of the factors of production. Let's understand the mechanism. The main factor which affects the money supply is credit creation by the banking system and changes in income and spending is, are caused by the bank current. So the real causes of the trade cycle can be traced to variations in the effective demand which occur due to changes in bank credit. And changes in the volume of money are brought about by changes in the rate of interest. So rate of interest changes the money supply, money supply changes the effective demand and effective demand leads to the uh, business cycle. So what is the expansion phase? A decrease in rate of interest leads to the reduction in the cost of credit. And therefore firms borrow more money from the uh, banking system. So higher the borrowing, higher the investment. Increase in investment leads to the increase in production and employment. And therefore, we have the increase in income and demand. So this is the expansion phase. The decrease in rate of interest leads to increase in income and demand. Now, according to Hotre, expansion comes to an end when credit expansion ends. So now we have contraction phase or recession. Increase in rate of interest leads to increase the cost of credit. And therefore, firms borrow less amount from the banking system. So lower the borrowing, lower the investment and lower the investment reduces the production and employment in the economy and therefore we have the decrease in income and demand. So increase in rate of interest reduces the income and demand in the economy. Now this recessionary phase merges with depression due to the growing shortages of credit. Now what is the recovery phase? The process of recovery is very slow and even though the bank rate is very low there is credit deadlock. That means it prevents firms to borrow from the banks due to pessimism in the economic activity. So lowering the interest rate will not help to uh, recover the economy quickly. This deadlock can be broken by following a cheap monetary policy by the central bank, which in turn helps the economy to recover from the recession. If you find this video useful, can you like, share, comment and subscribe. Thank you.